Welcome to today's Capgemini Talks. I am joined by Alexander Eerpmans. He is our lead open banking. And we're going to talk about PSD2, the future of banking. Could you tell me something more about PSD2? What is it and what are its implications in financial services? So PSD2 is basically a piece of legislation uh, which roughly got created 10 years ago by a couple of guys in Brussels. And they decided there should be a future for Europe. Mm -hmm. And that future is open banking. And they created a piece of legislation which will shake the foundations of everything as we know it. Mm -hmm. And what it is, it will mean access to your payments data. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be a game changer, a game changer for everyone within Europe. I'll give you an example, all right? Mm -hmm. So imagine that you want to get a mortgage right now in the Netherlands. Yeah. Do you know how many days, weeks it will take for you to fill in all type of forms and applications? It will take a lot of time. Yes, so we've studied that, right, with Capgemini Invent, and we've noticed, for example, in France, it will take three weeks, up to a month, mm -hmm. before you know the answer. Now, with PSD2, you can get direct access to people's payments data. With that, and some artificial intelligence, some aggregation, some analytics, within, and now guess, how mm -hmm. much time can you conclude whether or not you could apply for a mortgage? I think a minute or something. Three seconds oh, or three less. Seconds. Yeah. So <laughs> this is typically how it will start with changing people's everyday life. And this mm -hmm. is only the beginning because what you can do is you can access people's payment data, you can analyze it, but you can also initiate a payment. Mm -hmm. So shall I give you another example of what can yeah. happen? So imagine you would have a, well, let's say any type of train Mm -hmm. operator. Right? You're operating trains, you're running trains. Yeah. And people right now buying tickets, right? Yeah. And they go through a gate, they enter the train, and then they leave at one point. Mm -hmm. If you would combine an app where you have geolocation, where you can see someone is entering a train station and they're leaving another train station and they're moving with, I don't know, 120 miles an hour yeah. between the two stations, with a very much like a near 100% precision, you can see, ah, that guy was using the train. If you would combine that with a payments app, you mm -hmm. could actually say, hey, we deduct the payment from your account, which means you don't have to buy tickets anymore. You don't need your chip cards. You don't need a chip card. You don't no. need tickets. It all goes via an app. And these are just only the first steps of how you could see that PSD2 will create an open banking ecosystem. But you're also going to be controlled. Yeah, and by whom? That is a very, very good question. Do you have an idea? Well, I have an idea that it's not the banks and that there are other parties also involved uh, after PSD2. Excellent point, Mark. This is what you can see. The big danger, as we see it right now, mm -hmm. and I mean we, as Capgemini Invent, will be the role of the big tech players. So if you look at Alipay, if you look at Google, if you look at Facebook, all of them have announced that they will enter the European payments market and that they will enter these PSD2 services to create open banking. Yeah. And they are very dominant because they can scale up fast they can buy fintechs who have this piece of a certain knowledge right yeah. now and they can scale it ridiculously fast throughout millions of users. But these big tech players, they already have a lot of data, yeah. but they don't have the payment data yet. But now, after PSD2, is that the last piece of the puzzle well, for them? Actually, you're right. It is. Yeah. It was a very big lobby for the large techs, so to say to get this payments data in. Because ultimately, payments data is telling everything about you. Yeah. If I would look at everywhere where you spend your money, I could create a profile of you, which is very spot on, because that's what you actually do. Could say the car amounts, the housing, where you go out, where you buy your clothes. You can imagine if you combine that data with already the social media data that they have, the yeah. targeted merchandise would be excellent for them. Like the around amount of services that they can create are brilliant, but there's also a lot of danger in it. Yeah. Because now suddenly they are the only ones that hold all information about you. Yeah. And what's next for banks? Because we, we talked about big techs, we talked about these technological players. What so, can banks do? So what banks have to do is they have to become compliant and they have to participate because this yeah. is a piece of regulation. But what they really have to do on top of this, they have to build value-added services. Mm -hmm. This is exactly where we come in from Invent. You have to think in a different way, right? Because of the ecosystems, you're getting into the value propositions of other types of companies. And this is where they need our help. Yeah. Because what we can do is we can 
see how this entire landscape is working, where the value is for certain parties, you need to understand retailers now and banking. If you talk about the train stations, you need to understand the travel and transport sector and banking. If you're going to combine all of that, you need to understand all those sectors, how the data is interacting. And now the good news is, for those who haven't got any of those platforms, we have one. Mm -hmm. Kept Gemini actually built one of those platforms. It's modular, you can use it, you can test against it. Mm -hmm. On that, you can build your value-added services and we can help you create them. This is why we have entire innovation streams doing nothing else except creating new business ideas on that. This is exactly why we have set up certain market scans in which we combine what we see in sectors within ind industries, within countries. Okay, thank, thank you, you Alexander. Much. Thank you. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs>